Snapdragon X2 laptops might finally make Windows gaming on ARM feel real. And honestly, this is the first time I'm actually excited about this whole thing. For years, Windows on ARM has been like that friend who keeps saying, bro, I'll change, I promise. And every year, nothing. Apps would crash, games wouldn't even open, and people kept saying, don't worry, maybe next year. But now, Qualcomm just dropped a bomb. They're saying 90% of the most played Windows games will run on these new Snapdragon X2 laptops right at launch. That's not small talk, that's a crazy bold claim. And if that's true, that means Windows on ARM is finally stepping into level two. Not experiment mode, not beta, but real gaming. So let's break this down in the simplest way possible. Because trust me, what Qualcomm is doing right now is actually wild. You know how people always compare ARM laptops to Chromebooks? Yeah, that joke might not work anymore. Because these new Snapdragon X2 chips, especially the X2 Elite Extreme, are on another level. If you haven't heard, Daniel Rubino, the editor-in-chief at Windows Central, literally said this chip might be the most significant leap for high-end Windows PCs in a decade. A decade! That's like saying someone went from playing Snake on a Nokia to playing Cyberpunk on max settings. That's how big this jump feels. Now let's talk performance. People in the press tested the chip live. No editing, no pre-cooked benchmarks. The results? Strong single-core performance, even stronger multi-core, GPU numbers that finally don't look embarrassing, all in a laptop that's supposed to be small and efficient. So yeah, the chip itself is powerful, but let's be honest, power means nothing if your games don't even launch. Which brings us to the real story today. 90% of top Windows games will run. This is the part that made my eyebrows go up. Qualcomm says over 90% of the most played Windows games will run on these laptops from day one. Not one day, not in the future, on launch. Think about what that means for a second. Games that used to fail instantly now suddenly have a chance. Games that needed special instructions or special drivers now have real support. And Qualcomm isn't doing this alone. They've been working with Microsoft, developers, anti-cheat companies, and it shows. The GPU boost. One of the biggest weaknesses for Snapdragon laptops was their GPU. Before, it was like trying to play a AAA game on a potato. Now, Qualcomm says the new chips have up to 2.3x higher gaming performance than the last generation. That is a massive jump. It's like going from, can this even run Minecraft, to, oh, wait, this thing's actually kind of fast. New Snapdragon control panel. Okay, this part is low-key awesome. Qualcomm made a new app called the Snapdragon Control Panel. Think of it like a game optimizer, a performance tuner, and a driver updater all in one simple thing. It's like GeForce Experience, but for Snapdragon laptops. You open it, and boom, you can tweak your settings, you can improve gaming performance, and you can update your drivers. Everything is clean, simple, and easy to use. This might sound small, but trust me, this is the kind of stuff Windows on ARM should have had from day one. AVX2 emulation. This is huge. Let me explain this quickly in simple English. Some games need a special thing called AVX2 to even run. Old Snapdragon laptops didn't have it, and because of that, tons of games just refused to launch. Like, literally. Click, air, goodbye. Now? Snapdragon X2 Elite supports AVX2 emulation, meaning the laptop can pretend it has AVX2, so those games finally work. This is the missing puzzle piece, the thing people have been begging for. Without this, Windows on ARM never had a chance, but now it does. Anti-cheat support, finally. This was another huge problem. Games like Valorant, Apex, Fortnite, Warzone, Destiny, and many others have strict anti-cheat systems. Windows on ARM simply wasn't compatible. But Qualcomm and Microsoft finally worked together on kernel-level anti-cheat support? This is a big deal because online games won't run if the anti-cheat system doesn't trust your device. Now, more games will open, more games will be safe, more games will be playable without issues. And Qualcomm isn't stopping there. They're working directly with anti-cheat providers to add support for even more titles. This is how you build a real gaming platform. So what does all of this mean? 
this means Windows on ARM might actually be ready for mainstream gaming. Not perfect, not replacing gaming desktops, but finally good enough for regular players. Imagine this, a thin, light laptop, quiet fan, amazing battery life, runs your everyday Windows apps, and also runs your favorite games without crying for help. That's what Snapdragon X2 is trying to deliver. And honestly, it might actually be able to do it. Because for the first time, the chip is strong, the GPU is improved, the emulation is smarter, the drivers are reliable, and the anti-cheat finally works. Everything is lining up. Let's be real though, this doesn't mean you're going to get RTX graphics. This doesn't mean Snapdragon X2 will beat a gaming laptop with a huge GPU. But that's not the point. The point is, you can now game on a thin ARM laptop without fighting your device. You can now play your Steam library, run the big popular titles, use your apps, and get good battery life all at the same time. This is a huge shift for laptops. For years, Windows on ARM felt like a side project. Now, it feels like the future. Why this could change everything? If this generation, the Snapdragon X2 generation, actually succeeds, then imagine what happens with X3, X4, X5. Developers will start caring, game studios will start optimizing, anti-cheat companies will build native support, and Microsoft will push ARM even harder. This could be the moment where ARM laptops stop being cute experiments and start being real competitors to Intel and AMD. And honestly, Intel and AMD should probably pay attention because Qualcomm is not playing anymore. It all comes down to one question. Are gamers going to trust this? Because Qualcomm can talk, they can show numbers, they can promise compatibility. But gamers want proof. Gamers want to see real gameplay. Gamers want to see actual benchmarks, not marketing talk. And if those videos start coming out, if we start seeing games like GTA V, Fortnite, Apex, Elden Ring, Cyberpunk, Valorant running smoothly on these laptops, then yeah, Snapdragon X2 will explode. This could be the turning point for ARM Windows laptops forever. Final thoughts. This is honestly the first time Windows on ARM has felt exciting. Not interesting, not promising, not in the future, but right now exciting. The combination of big performance jump, better GPU, AVX2 support, anti-cheat support, 90% game compatibility, and the new control panel, all of this makes Snapdragon X2 laptops feel like they might actually be worth buying for real gaming. And I love that, because the more competition we get, the better for everyone. So yeah, Windows on ARM gaming might finally be ready for primetime. And this time, it doesn't feel like empty hype. It feels real.